All right, welcome back students. Today I'm gonna to start a new series of videos and I'm not promising a lot of these videos because I'm gonna be playing the oboe, all right? So um, I'm gonna be starting this with like, I usually start all my beginner videos with the oboe um, hot cross buns video. But if you are an oboe player, feel free to look at my flute videos. I have lots of flute videos. But I wanted to give this a shot and a, and a little shout out to all you oboe players out there. I have a special fingering chart I printed out online. If I can still find it online, I'll put the link in the description below. But this helps me out, it helps the oboe students out. And if you don't know anything about oboe, oboe has what are called the half hole fingering. So I'm gonna pull this up to the screen and you can see this little key up here. Most of the time you're gonna cover that hole, but sometimes you're only gonna cover the bottom, which is called the half hole, okay? So when we play the D today, we're gonna to be using the half hole, but then when we play the C and the B flat, we're gonna be using covering that hole, okay? So we're gonna be playing three notes for the hot cross buns. You'll see below, I pull those notes up. We're gonna be starting with the D. The D is all six fingers, one, two, three, four, five, six, except that the top one is the half hole. So we have all of those down. And then when we go to the C, it's one and one. We go to the full hole up there, one and one. And B flat, we just add this finger on here. Now you're probably thinking, do I use this thumb? No, you do not use the thumb. So the three notes end up sounding like this. Here's the D. And then we have the C. And then the B flat. I have a tuner here, I'm trying to stay in tune. I'm gonna put the metronome on set for 80 beats per minute, but I'm gonna stay on the tuner so I can see what's happening. So we're starting with that D. One, two, ready, 